how are you guys this is ibu learning the place to develop your academic skills today i'm going to share dynamo script to automate our office work this is script going to help to override color of the our model element so i have already opened revit basic model architectural model and then i'm going to use this one to so in the dynamo how we can uh, um, make the override the color and you can make the script to override the color so first uh, i'll go to just 3d view and then i will just uh, do some uh, small cleanup go to vg visibility and graphics and then i am just going to remove some unwanted model element so i I don't need the topography and then from here I think this uh, planting also is there okay so I think this is okay now just I'll go to the manage tab and then I'm going to click on dynamo and this is the dynamo interface once you will open I'll go to the open the new dynamo file and from here you can work so from here i am just going to find the first node which will, i will say category this you can see from drop down you can find all the category which are available in the model if you will go to check here these are the walls these are the wall category if you will select this these are the roof category and if you select this floor or uh, yeah these are the floor category so this is all you can get from here this is if this is the automatic mode it will automatically run the this is script you can change it to manual once you have you will decide to run you can start to run so once you have category then i'm just going to select the wall okay now from this wall category i need to get all element of this wall category once you will run you will see you have 56 elements in this category wall if you want to check the id you can type id element id it will give the id this is the id here it will give the separate id also the same once you will run you will find the id also here in the separate now next i am going to find the because i have to override the color so i will go to find the color node and i will choose by argb here it's going to take rgb red green blue input i will go to type double click and in the code block I can or I can choose the number and I'll just drag copy I'll copy and paste another also three so this I'll connect this one R G and B all three you can do it from here also in the from the code block but now I'm just showing the from the number because color has number and then I, I connected here now I need next element I can right click and type element sorry element dot color
over a color in view. So I have an element already extracted from here. So I'm just going to collect, connect this and I have color and I will just connect this. So this is and then I'm just going to keep this one side by side to run and check it's how it's working. I'll go to just change this color because this color is taking from 255 if you see the color code it is 255 maximum you can keep in RGB 255, 255 or 255 okay now here I am going to change this 255191 for the wall and I keep this one 0 once I run I can see this is color all the walls color has changed next I will do the same I am going to change this to from wall to floor and all other are good to go now I'll just go to change this let me change another color I can change here 255 and this I can keep 0 this time all thing is looking good now just to start run and here you go thanks for watching please subscribe for upcoming videos thank you